Okay, so I was looking for a drop leg holster uh, for doing some training stuff. And most of the stuff that I could find online was about 150 bucks or so. So I had this holster. It's a Kydex holster. Uh, no cant. Uh, I had this just kind of sitting in a closet. Haven't really used it for much. Um, I have found that this works just fine uh, if I'm wearing a chest rig. But if I'm wearing a plate carrier and a chest rig, it is a little, little tight getting the gun up and everything. So um, I guess that's why drop leg holsters exist in the first place. So I might as well take advantage of the technology that's out there. But I am a very cheap person and didn't want to pay 150 bucks for a holster when I had a holster laying around that I really wasn't going to use for anything. So what I did was I found this setup here. This is from Blade Tech. And it's got the, this goes around your belt. It's got a little snap on here. So this comes off. So this is attached to your belt. This just clips in, and then you have your uh, holster rig here with the two loops that go around your leg. And um, this has like a like a quick detach system that was can go on here, so you can get different uh, different mounts for different holsters and stuff. Uh, but what I did is I just took this strapping and I ran it through the holster loops that were on the holster, pulled that snug, and then I just ran some zip ties in the other side, and it seems to hold just fine. Um, so everything fits in there, it's nice and tight. Um, I've worn it around the house a little bit, feels fine. Um, I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to leave this strap through these holster loops or if I'm just going to take this off of here, take these screws out, take the loop off and just run a few more zip ties in there to hold that. But it's holding it nice and sturdy to this, I guess you could call this like the frame or the backbone and the holster's holding fine. So like I said, I'm not sure uh, if I take this, take these out of here. It's going to give me probably another inch or maybe two inches of uh, strap length in the leg. So I might do that and just put a run a series of zip ties through here to hold it all together or even paracord or something. But um, I was able to find this set up. Take that on there. So like I said, this is from Blade Tech. I was able to find this set up. So it's the part that goes to the the belt, the little drop leg part, and the things that go around here, skeleton, backbone, I don't know what you call it. But I was able to find that on eBay for, uh, I think it was like 35 bucks with free shipping. So for $35 and just a little bit of time to kind of put it together, um, there was a little piece on here that I had to take off. So, you know, it took a, you know, 15, 20 minutes, whatever, to put it together. So for 35 bucks with the holster I had laying around, I was able to basically make a drop leg holster for the gun that I wanted. And then, um, you know, if I want to use it for a different gun, obviously I can unthread this. If I leave this, I can just unthread that webbing, cut a couple zip ties off, and then I can slap whatever holster I want on there. And so it's kind of a universal type setup as far as once you have this, you can put pretty much any holster on there and any type of holster will work. You just might have to get a little creative on how you mount it to the actual frame or skeleton here. So like I said, instead of, instead of buying something pre-made for about 150 bucks or so, I was able to put something together with something I had existing already that I wasn't really using. And then an eBay piece for about 35, 40 bucks in a little bit of time saved me quite a bit of money. And uh, the 
the functionality of it seems pretty good so far. Like I said, I haven't run it the, through a class or anything, you know, to see how it holds up, but that'll kind of help me determine whether I want to keep this strap thing in here or if I want to just run zip ties or paracord or something else to hold the holster to the actual frame of this. But just a kind of a cheap, easy way to go if you're looking to do something and you can't find what you're looking for and you want to kind of make something that suits your needs and maybe saves you a little bit of money in the long run.